That's close. Shout for LBW and he's got, he's got him. First over, the quicker ball, the arm ball. And Travis Dean in front for a duck. And the Cricket Australia 11 lose their first wicket. Travis Dean out for no score, one for none. Just going straight back, <clears throat> sort of plump in front. Um, even in a review situation, you wouldn't be calling for a review on that one. Well, that's about that will change the landscape of the city of Brisbane dramatically. And there's a play and a miss. It's hit the keeper on the shoulder. And now he's been given out LBW. The umpire took a while. Exactly. The bowler just thought it was a fait accompli. The keeper got hit in the shoulder by the ball. At the end of the day, Sam Raphael is out. LBW to Wazim for four. And they lose their second wicket here. The CA 11 with just eight on the board. And that was a bizarre dismissal. The Pakistanis... Just thought it was a fait accompli. Did we watch the replay? Well, I don't know what it was going to miss. The bowler just... <laughs> I don't know whether he'd given up or not. He appeals and then... And bowled him, played it on. Just looking for that little dab that you so often see. That either goes for a single or play it on. And this time it was played on. And Bazisto is out for three, and they lose another wicket. The Cricket Australia 11. The skipper's gone, and it's three for 19. Hassan Ali picks up his first wicket, as we'll see in the replay, where went to just run it down through the gully area, but just catching the bottom edge more than the centre of the bat. Played it straight on. Came in off the that. pitch as well, and just cramped him for room. And just one of those shots that. All he was going to get was one. And all he succeeded in doing, a bit of movement back off the seam. And well, bold. Lynn, now he's been called up into the Australian ODI team. Short and top edge. And there's oh, a catch. catch. Pakistan, their fielding has improved. That was a terrific catch. And is that Baba Azam that's taken the catch? He was yep. diving away from us. It was hard to tell. And I don't think it was. I think it might have been. It was very much a Superman dive because he just launched himself. Terrific catch running away, not quite out of the middle. In fact, it was off the toe there from Pekovsky, who's out for 10. And that was an outstanding catch. We've spoken about whether their fielding would have improved. Well, on that effort, yeah, yes. Now we see it. We've just seen the uh, the 12th man come running on from off the field just to give him a big pat. We'll see the replay of that catch. And it is, in fact, Assad Shafiq that took the catch. Um, but literally as he dived, he dived with the flight of the ball. And that was what was so amazing about it. Often you see people dive towards the ball or uh, perpendicular to it, but to dive with the ball was an unbelievable effort so uh, a nice little catch there just got on to him a little bit quick to play that pull shot and I said Shafiq the ball held up in the breeze as well just a quick check in yes there has been Inglis has hit a couple of fours it's going to be caught Sanger in the air bigger. straight down the throat of the fielder and that's a pretty poor shot when you consider he'd been playing so well, Umar Akmal didn't have to move. He was underneath it. In fact, it is Shajil Khan yeah. out there on the boundary. Which is why he didn't move. <laughs> and the innings of Sanger comes to an end on 20. And the 50 partnership wasn't reached. Very un unfortunate. Nice little catch out there on mid-wicket, but hit pretty well straight to him. Yeah, just a... It was a catching practice drill. Half tracker too. He could have put it anywhere, really. And unfortunately, put it straight down the throat of Shazil Khan. There's the new... Bowled him. Straight through. The arm ball played inside it. Maybe expecting a little bit of turn. And just clipped the stumps. And so Hinchliffe is out for four. And they lose their sixth wicket. 
with the total on 95. Hinchliffe bowled Shad Malik for four. English remains not at 52. Paying the price of m- nudging more than anything, just caught on that crease line, neither forward nor back. It's been the way for the other bowl, the batsmen that have been dismissed as well. The LBWs early, very similar shots. Yeah. Out of the over for Azar. And oh, did that hit the appeal. pad? And Big appeal, gone. and he's given him out, LBW. Another LBW, and this time it is the big wicket of Josh Inglis. It is the third LBW of the innings, and Azar Ali gets his man, LBW, for 70, and it's 7 for 118. Unlucky for Josh Inglis. Certainly deserved a century today, the way he batted. Um... Just went forward again. Just started in. I think that was more a wrong than again. Just Inglis played for it, but it went inside him. Caught him right in front. The umpire, without hesitation, put him out. And he's out LBW to the bowling of Azar Ali for 70. Came up off 64 deliveries. It's in the air. Who wants it? Azar Ali is under it and takes, takes the catch. He couldn't resist in the end, Sutherland. He played quite a few defensive shots and then the ball was just tossed up and he hit it high in the air. And looking into the sun, the captain took a good catch and Sutherland is on his way out for nine. That's the eighth wicket falling. Eight for 126, the Cricket Australia 11. They did cross, so the new batsman, Henry Thornton, will be at the non strikers end. Wasn't a bad catch in the end, looking into the sun and other fielders around as, as well. The umpire there also. I think Square Leg for a moment thought he was a bit of a chance too, but thankfully held off. Rahad Ali. Bowled in. Straight through. Well pitched up. And the innings of Henry Thornton comes to an end. Straight through the defence. And Cricket Australia 11, now nine down. A nice Yorker length delivery there. Batter just not quick enough to get down on the ball. Comes in underneath. Takes that off stump. Nice, nice delivery there from the left-handed Rahad Ali. It's a little bit of in-swing too against the breeze. But as well, by Riley Meredith, the final batter for Cricket Australia 11. And that was the end of that 34th over. And 8 for 100. And thir- 9 for one. In comes Hassan Ali. Short, straight to deep mid-wicket, and there's the final wicket to fall. Straight down the throat once again of Shahjil Khan, and the match comes to an end with the final wicket of Green falling for eight, and the total 138. So a comfortable 197-run victory for Pakistan in this tour match. Terrific 98 from the captain, Aza Ali, for Pakistan. I should say uh, Baba, Baba scored the 98. The captain made one not out. And then for the Cricket Australia, 11-70 for Josh English. So they'll be pleased to get a win under their belt, Pakistan. They did some good things today. And now...